Hola, 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 guys. What's going on? It's your boy Eddie Kane, EddieKane.com. You're in Puerto Plata, beautiful Puerto Plata, Republic of Dominicana. Down here on the Malacón. Beautiful, beautiful day. As always, most of the time, even when it's raining, it's beautiful. Guys, just wanted to uh, check in with you guys. Hopefully, everybody's doing good. I also wanted to pay my respects for a fellow traveler and brother, uh, Timothy Reed, I believe is the brother's name, that um, was murdered in uh, Colombia. And uh, like a few days ago, it's tragic, bad situation all the way around. I mean, it makes you think about it. I mean, it could be any one of, it could have been any one of us that that happened to, you know what I'm saying? So when stuff like that happens, it I think about it. Mortality is something I think about a lot since I was a kid. And as I get old, I still think about it, you know, losing your life, especially, especially losing your life when you're trying to enjoy it and you've worked hard and, you know, you just want to be left alone and just enjoy your life. You know, everybody's speculating. We don't know what happened. We probably will never know, but it's good that a lot of guys and people are paying attention to it and hopefully we won't let it go, um, you know, be forgotten at all. You know, if you travel in, to developing countries or abroad, you know how things like that can be brushed under the carpet and uh, hopefully that won't happen in this situation. And uh, it's just going to take a joint effort, man, a joint effort. Hopefully the family will will get justice no matter how long it takes. Um, you know, just a few things to touch on, guys. When you are not traveling, but when, you, when you're living in a different country, you can be a target. Just like when foreigners are in the United States, they can be a target. So it goes both ways. But when you're doing deals, I mean, big money deals, any, anything dealing with money, you're already perceived as having money. I don't care how you dress, you can dress down. People are gonna think you have money because you're American, Americano, or you're foreigner, period. Whether it's European, Asian, or whatever, because you're able to travel, you're able to go other places. You know, in their eyes, you, you, you wouldn't be able to do that, do that if you didn't have money. You know what I'm saying? If you weren't able to. So you're gonna be a target to a certain degree. You need to make positive, relationships when you you know you need to take time nothing in it, it's, it's a double-edged sword you want things to move swiftly when you're out of the country but you learn from being here and in other countries like dominican republic colombia philippines anywhere thailand that things don't move swiftly and especially during a during a pandemic so you just gotta let things kind of flow you gotta make relationships whether it's people on a lower level street level and also you know in business level you need to make all those relationships which those are things that i've done and you learn to just you need to have a team on your side you need to ask questions you need to take your time before you cook you know when you're trying to do those type of deals when you're spending over 500 dollars or more especially when you get up to 200k and you can't speak the language you know there's a cultural ba uh, barrier as well as language barrier you need to have a really good chica woman on your side or mujer on your side. I mean, I'm talking talking about somebody you vetted, you spent time with, you know that she's not trying to beat you out of your money. Everybody here needs help or abroad needs help. I mean, women in the States need help. They want you to do something for them. And I've said this before, but I mean, I'm talking about somebody that's not looking at you as a walking ATM. They take it into consideration that you have bills, you have kids in college, you have other things to take care of as well. You know what I'm saying? So they don't just look at you as a money grab. You know, of course, you're going to help them if you can. But, you know, I'm talking about every day. So when you're with someone like that and they've shown you that they're legit, you need to put them on your team. You know what I'm saying? They need to be with you like his girl was with him. I don't think he knew her that long. Four months is not a long time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how long he knew the girl. But me personally, 200K, and I don't speak the language fluently, even just remotely fluent, I would have flew flown an, an, an English speaking uh, Latin or Dominican American attorney into the Colombia to be with me during that deal. I would have paid if it was a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars on top of the two hundred K. I would have paid for it just to have that extra layer of security with me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lawyer is a lawyer, but you pay, you know, you, you go with the, the, the lesser of the two evils, somebody from your home country, bring them with you. Then on top of that, have your girl with you. On top of that, have your 
uh, Colombian attorney with you so they can check, you know, check and balance each other out. You know, you need, you got to do those things. Again, we don't know what happened. It could just be fluke. I think it was, he was targeted. Who's going to get the place? Was her name on it? I hope the brother, he seemed like he was intelligent, educated, and, you know, uh, that he had traveled. So I, I hope he didn't have her name on any of that stuff after not knowing her that long. You know what I'm saying? Did she have something to do with it? Who knows? But guys, just be real careful when you travel abroad, especially when you live abroad, you're not visiting. You got to pay attention to everything. You got to take your time. We're so used to a rushed culture. I, me personally, I'm the same way. I want what I want when I want it. And that's what we're used to. Life in, in the in Caribbean and in the tropics and South America is more tranquilo. You know, hey, tranquilo, poppy. That's the first thing you learn when you move here. Relax, chill out, relax. It'll be okay. Mañana, mañana. So, in essence, you really got to start doing that. You got to tone it down. You can't rush things. Then you got to pay attention to your surroundings. That could have happened to any one of us being outside in front of our house or down the street and somebody walked up. If it was over a chain, which I don't believe, the chains that I saw in the video, the chain was small. But, you know, they, they'll even try to take that or a cell phone. But it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you give it up. You don't struggle if that's what he did. We don't know if that's what he did. It's early on in, in the investigation. But, guys, this is just an awareness video. Be careful. Pay attention to everything, man. Get some good people on your side that you vetted. You know what I'm saying? Break them off. Help them. Nobody wants to do anything for free. So you need to help. You need to throw a bone every now and then when you can. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying pay everybody. Pay people for everything that they do for you. You should be able to meet genuine people who want to help you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you need to do. And uh, just pay attention, guys. It's a sad situation. I hate it happening. You know, it's, 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 it's tugging at my heart, man, because I'm thinking about that man, his family. I'm thinking about that could be me. I've taken losses here. If you lived in another country and you say you haven't taken any hills, you're lying or it just hadn't happened yet. Then I'm far from green, far from naive. You know what I'm saying? So it's happened. But, you know, it's never nothing like 200K. This brother spent 200K. I personally would have rented, you know what I'm saying, originally and bought something later. You know what I'm saying? But that's a lot of money, no matter where you are. Let's round it off to a quarter mil. That's what it basically was. He lost a million dollars, two, I mean, a quarter of a million dollars in his life, all within what, a week? That's crazy as hell. So, you know, it was, you know, shit involved in him. Did it have something to do with the people that were still in there, the tenants being put out in the middle of a pandemic with, you know, economics the way it is and already, is, you know, it's a poor country. You know what I'm saying? Was it that? I mean, you just don't know. But just guys pay attention when you're out, look over your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Try not to be alone, especially if you're new to living in a different country. Try not to be alone. You know, I, mean, I know that sounds crazy. You should be able to stand out in front of your house, which I do, or in different places. But... It could just happen, man. It could just happen. So rest in peace to Timothy Ravel Reed, I believe his name was. Rest in peace, brother, to you and your family, man. I hope they get justice. You guys be careful out there when you're traveling. If you travel, I don't travel in groups, but if you tra travel in groups, man, stick by those people's side. Watch out for them. Make sure everybody's legit and okay. You guys stay blessed out there, man. One.